with me Shani and today I'm going to be showing you my August favorites. I am back at school that is why there is a change of scenery. Um, I am in my dorm room at college and it's crazy that I'm back. It's crazy that August is almost over. I can't believe it. Um, it's very weird being back on campus and with all the new changes it's definitely definitely weird. But um, I have some favorites to share with you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy. So let's just get right into it. I'm going to start with makeup. So first off, I've got this big, big boy right here. This is the Glam Light Cake Palette, and it's beautiful. Also, I'm sorry, there is a noise. I don't know what this noise is behind me. Um, I think it's like the air circulation so I'm sorry I don't know how to help that um, but this is the glam light cake palette it is in a little oven which is so cute and you just like open up the oven <laughs> and here is here is the cake palette and this is such a pretty rainbow palette so I, and there's a nice mirror here, but I'm going to avoid the mirror for you guys. But I haven't used a lot of the shades in here, but I'm still going to say it's a favorite because the shade that I have used, I have been loving the shade. I think I've used Banana, Pineapple, Dose de Leche, um, Lavender, Blueberry, Oob. I think those are the shades I've used. But I've done, like, twice I did more of a yellow look just because that's kind of a trend I've been doing. I feel like this August I've been wearing a lot of yellow eyeshadow. So these two shades were um, something I really enjoyed. As well as this brown in the outer corner with these two shades. And then I did, for the first day of school online, um, I used lavender and blueberry with oob in the crease and it was so beautiful I brought in a ColourPop single um, blue dark blue eyeshadow to like finish the look it was like a lavender blueberry kind of moment and I really really like that so check out my Instagram I believe it is on there um, shake up makeup Shan and yeah it was a really cool look and so anyways I've been loving this palette I cannot wait to use some of these blues and the greens and more of the pinky tones because I, I haven't used all of it but based on what I have used the uh, mattes are super blendable and very pigmented and the shimmers are so foiled and even at the end of the day like it is still ha hasn't lost any of its luster you know what I mean so like look at that so love these and I think it's really cute and I usually don't like food themed palettes but this one I think is really neat I really like it and I've had it the whole um, month of August so I've been slowly using it a lot and I enjoy it um, another eyeshadow palette I have is the tribe palette from Juvia's Place this is an amazing amazing palette I've been waiting to talk about this one because I think just because I hadn't used it enough to really tell you it's a favorite but I have used it enough now and I don't know what it is but I've been loving green eyeshadow lately so I'll take this in the crease and then this this more pro pre predominantly in the crease but this like kind of blending out the edges um, like up higher and it's so nice and neon and these like bluey shades are so interesting and even this orange I did a look with the orange and the gold and these other shades and it was so so cool like this is like almost like a yellowy orange and I really like it I feel like I don't have most of these colors I don't have anything in my collection like it especially this one here it looks like a regular shade but it's green shimmer so it's perfect in the inner corner for a green look so I've been loving loving this palette and Juvia's Place is just so cool they're amazing and so this I actually picked up this for my birthday back in May it came in June about and I've been loving it so had to mention that 
Um, one more palette. This is actually a bronzer palette. I got this in my, I think, July. I think July uh, boxy charm. This is the Ace Beauté Bronzed in Paradise bronzer palette. And look at how beautiful the packaging is. Oh my gosh. So, I haven't used these two shades because they are too dark on me, but because I do makeup artistry sometimes, I'm going to keep it around and, you know, use those for other people. It'll be great in my makeup kit, but for now, I'm not doing much makeup on other people, so I've been using these two shades as myself, on myself, and um, they're really nice. So, I would totally recommend this guy. It's just very blendable and... Um, pigmented and I really think you can build it up but it's just really nice so I like the formula on this guy as well all right um next I'll talk about the hourglass veil setting powder I use this for under my eyes and it is so nice this is a little birthday from back in May sample from Sephora and I've been using this pretty consistently and it's just so nice. I can't really show it to you on camera, but it is so nice under the eyes. It really blurs the under eyes, and it really works with any concealer I've used with it. So I've been loving this, and I can see why people enjoy it and buy it a lot. I've seen it on YouTube a lot, so I, I can totally see why. Um, Next, I have, from this month's BoxyCharm, I got the Hydro Glow Sleep Serum from Mine Tan Beauty, sorry, tan, tan Body Skin. I have never heard of this brand, and I was like, whatever, okay, another sleep serum, but it smells amazing, and I feel like it's been very nice on my skin. It smells so good. It's like very fresh and clean. It kind of reminds me of like Bath and Body Works, like some sort of scent from them, but it is really, really nice, and I've been using it basically every night. Um, as my serum and I don't know I just really enjoy it I think it does nice things for my skin nothing revolutionary but I do enjoy it um let me just see I have this body lotion this is actually from Ulta it's like their super cheap brand this is the sweet and shimmer body lotion in sparkling rose and I actually have been loving this I think I got it for Christmas from my aunt and uncle and I've been really liking it after my shower you know I'll use it on my legs and it's just really really nice and moisturizing and yeah I thought I'd mention it then I have a new perfume this is the love and glamour Jennifer Lopez perfume and I actually found this I was going through my college stuff figuring out what I was gonna bring to school with me and I found this in the rummage of like my stuff from freshman year and I don't even remember owning this it must have been a gift somewhere along the line but it smells so good it just smells very kind of fruity but just feminine and like mature almost oh it smells so good I don't know if it's like still <laughs> I don't know if it's still a thing like I mean I'm guessing it's available somewhere but if you could find this it is really nice and I just love the smell and I love the packaging. I've already used up a good amount. When I found it, it was a little low, but not like a little lower than the top, but it was pretty full. And I just love the bottle. It looks like a little, like a girl type of, like a woman. So I thought that was really cool. And I've been loving this, wearing it every day, pretty much. <laughs> so yeah, I have some, oh, I got these swatch stencils from swatch gold uk they're on etsy and they're so so cute i don't know if you can tell but these ones have hearts and i've just been into swatching and like these ones are unicorns butterflies and it just makes it so much fun like i used to just swatch things on my hand and it would be i mean on my arm and it's just kind of messy but these make it really cool so I've been loving these. I got like a big variety pack of them. So again, check out my Instagram, Shake Up Makeup Shan, for more swatches, like professional looking swatches. So, um, some antiques I've gotten this 
month or even before that but like some favorites of this month I got this little carriage <laughs> it's a horse and carriage pumpkin carriage and it is a pencil sharpener and it's like a little die cast carriage I thought that was so cute and it's really cute on display and it actually works like I could I could even sharpen my eyeliners with it so that's just so cute I might not actually use it but very cute I love like Cinderella and the whole horse drawn carriage type of thing I also got at an antique store this little strawberry shortcake and her cat I don't remember the cat's name but I absolutely loved strawberry shortcake when I was little I had like toys of her this is the older version I grew up with a different version of strawberry shortcake but I thought this was so cute my boyfriend actually bought actually I think he bought both of these for me they were not that expensive but that was very sweet of him to buy me those and this I actually got at another antique store and I absolutely love it it is a little Egyptian girl she looks a little a little angry but I absolutely love it and I actually put it on display next to my Juvia's Place palettes because um, they are also Egyptian so I have a palette that matches her pretty well and I have them on display together and I thought that would be really cute so um, my little Egyptian girl I got her at an antique store for three bucks I think this was five and this was six dollars so you can find some pretty cute stuff for really affordable at antique stores uh, for sure and then I also got this mug tree it is like a mustard not a mustard like I tried to I hope it's more gold because my theme of my room is like pink white and gold type of deal but I thought this was so cute it holds four mugs and I have mugs on it now so I've got to be careful but I absolutely love this mug tree I got it for five bucks I think at an antique store and I just think it's so nice to display my mug I also have this mug here my grandma got it for me it says you go girl with a bunch of names of inspiring women and I have been drinking out of this one a lot <laughs> you know water v8 anything um so yeah those are some other favorites I have a new planter for my plant pixie <laughs> um she's hanging out here but this is a little white planter there's a little tiny bug uh with bees on it paint like bees are painted on this and i got it at a local like art store with you know local artist type of stuff and it was only like 12 bucks and i thought it was so cute with the little bees on it so that's definitely a favorite pixie my plant is always a favorite but the planter is the august favorite um we have just a few more things. I have two clothing items. So first off, I just got these from the wash. So they are wrinkly and kind of weird. I got these shorts at an and not an antique store, a thrift store. I went thrifting with one of my girlfriends um, from, you know, one of my friends from childhood. And we had a lot of fun. And I got these blue shorts with embroidery little flowers on them. And they're really comfy and cute and they are size medium blue rain is the company but yeah I've just been wearing these I think they're cute but also very comfy so love those and then lastly for clothes I got these from Leela's or Lee Lily's um from a boutique not in a town kind of close to me and they are just the cutest little shorts they're like very nice like sturdy denim and you tie them here and there's two buttons and they kind of flow out a little bit and these are so nice for curves I never like shorts on me really like jean shorts I never like but these ones <laughs> if I can show you them these ones are really nice and comfy and really cute I've gotten compliments on them already they just kind of hug me in the right way and these are mediums as well just because like I don't know with curves it's hard and those ones were really nice it's L E L I's 
if that if you can find that I found it at a boutique um, and I love it so lastly I just have some things I'm gonna mention nothing really left to show you one thing um, I discovered in August was the Spongebob Squarepants YouTube channel they actually I loved Spongebob growing up and they actually have uh, bikini bottom mysteries like conspiracy theories about bikini bottom that the actual Spongebob YouTube put up and they are so cool they are so funny about like supporting characters in um, Spongebob and they like go over conspiracy theories about them it's really really funny I would definitely check that out it was just cool to watch it I watched it with my brother and um, my boyfriend it was really fun Oh, I also tried a glitter wing this month. I've never done that where, you know, my whole eye is a whole glitter wing. And I'm going to post it on my Instagram. So, again, check that out. But, um, but yeah, I did a pink glitter wing. And that was a technique that I think I got to do more of. I think it's really fun to use, like, liquid eyeshadows. I never use liquid eyeshadows. So, to use them up um, by doing a technique like that is kind of fun. And, um, oh, also, I did color my blonde hair rose gold. I don't know if you can really tell now because I have showered a few times, but that's definitely a favorite. Um, sometimes I wear rose gold eyeshadow and you can really see it, but, um, in some lighting it looks blonde.